All right, scholars, should you take dual enrollment classes? Seems like a simple question. Uh Uh-huh. I mean, if your goal is to graduate from a two- or four-year college with minimal debt, that means you want to graduate on time. Yeah, if you can accumulate as many college credits as you can before the age of eight while you're in high school, kaboom, you just maximize your likelihood of graduating from a two- or four-year college with minimal debt because you're starting as a second year, as a third year student. I've heard from high school principals who say, hey, we have some students who graduate from our high school. They grab their high school diplomas and they've already got two full years of college credit. So they start as a third year at their college. So they can, hey, be done in two years with a four year degree or maybe done in two and a half, three years with a four year degree plus a master's. But here's the caveat. A lot of huge, I'm talking full tuition type scholarships require the arriving student in college to be a first year student. So that's the only thing. You may suddenly make yourself ineligible for those big scholarships if you arrive as like a standing sophomore, a standing junior, got it? So check into that. But yeah, typically you wanna max out on those dual credits while you're in high school. Kaboom, one last thing. Will they apply to every college? Local colleges typically will take them, but sometimes far away colleges may not. Just one more wrinkle, but typically, yes. As my daughter used to say in middle school, no duh, yeah, enroll in those dual credit classes.